My name is Thuy Padilla. I am a Vietnamese and Chinese American principal here in Chandler, Arizona. My parents were refugees from Vietnam and they fled Vietnam because of the Vietnam War along with the rest of my family. And it took several attempts for both sides of my family to be able to come here to the United States. That road definitely um, had a lot of bumps and different landings along the way. So a church here in Arizona had sponsored my dad's side of the family and assisted with housing and taking in my family temporarily to get them on their feet. And from there, we have stayed in Arizona and I have stayed in Arizona for now all my life. And so it was very important for me to stay within the community in which supported my family and to be able to give back what essentially we were able to benefit off of in dire circumstances. For me to be able to be a source of representation for certain groups of students and their ethnicity. Because of course we want to try our best to give our students mirrors, windows, and sliding doors as everyone would say. But in addition to that, it also gives everyone a chance, especially adults, to really learn about the different cultures, the very many different Asian and Pacific Islander ethnicities in the world, and to be able to speak upon my experience as a Southeast Asian American rather than a general statement of being Asian American. I think there are many differences within our experiences, and in this, I think especially with leaders that might be within my generation. There are some very interesting circumstances, I would say, that they have been in, that their family had been in in because of history, and now they're in the United States. So with adults, it's really important that we have conversations to just learn about each other more. And also there is what we know is the model minority myth amongst the Asian American community. And you don't get to see a lot of Southeast Asian representation in different facets of schooling. And that's where I come in. It's really important right now is really going out there as educators, as adults, and asking our Asian American students and youth how they're feeling, what they're feeling, and being a support system for them as they start to process some of the things that are happening with all of the violent attacks and atrocities in the U.S. and in the world with Asian Americans. We are still in the middle of Asian hate right now. And as of right now, I have not heard much conversation about the issue other than the first part of it, just information about what's happening. It ends there. And so it's really important that we take the next step. So I'd like for us to really pay attention and focus in on that during this time, because again, we're right in the middle of this and we don't know when it's going to end.